Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanna to take a quick look at a Yaesu VX2R, that's what this guy is. This is an old radio. I don't know the exact age on it. Um, I bought this used from OfferUp.com for a couple hundred dollars. I wanted one because I like the size of this thing. It is absolutely tiny. As you can see, it fits inside literally the palm of my hand. The radio came by itself, came with a battery, no charger, nothing else, no accessories. And I was able to find plenty of accessories for this radio on AliExpress. This isn't necessarily a review of the VX2R. It does radio things. It's two meter, 70 centimeter, multiple channels. I don't remember how many. It's more than I'll ever use. It is half watt and one watt output power rated. It supports the old wires system. You can see that button down there at the bottom. It doesn't appear to support wires X. Maybe it will. I don't have a wires X system around to test it with. I cannot get it to connect to a YSF hotspot, so I don't think it supports that at all. And not really what I bought it for. So what I want to do with this radio is I want to hook it up to the spectrum analyzer and let's see what the output looks like on an ancient radio of unknown provenance. All right. All right. I've got the SA set up correctly for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to sweep from 140 megahertz and we're going to stop at 800 megahertz. We have a 30 dBm attenuator in line, and the spectrum analyzer has got that accounted for. So we are ready to test. As I said, this radio has two power levels, low power and high power. Yesu says half watt and one watt. So the first thing we're gonna do is test on what looks like high power. And let's key up. Yep, that's high power. So it looks like we're about 30 to 31 dbm of output power and you can see nothing is above the 16.02 the minus 16.02 dbm line so this guy is just aces let's go ahead and check what it looks like on low power so let me change the power level and there we go much less power and still clean as can be all right Let's bump our frequency span up all the way to 1.5 gigahertz, which is the range of this uh, device. And that's on low power. Nothing. It's noise. Just it's well below the noise floor. Let's go back to high power. That's on two meters. And I don't see nothing, nothing at all. So this looks great. All right. Let's take a quick check on 70 centimeters. All right, we're set up on 70 now on the radio, keying up. Still nothing, absolutely nothing. There's our primary, our fundamental frequency, and I don't see anything. That's on high power, let's switch to low power. And there's our low power fundamental, and absolutely nothing else. So. This radio, for being an old radio, is just as clean as can possibly be. Guys, that's all I've got in this video. Thank you for watching. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And please ring the bell in the dingus below so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks, y'all. 73.